guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Hawkeye, issue 10. And before I start talking about this issue, I just want to give you guys a little update that I have two reviews on Dark Avenger Inc. that I usually do on Comic Uno, which are Earth 2, issue 12, and Action Comics, issue 20. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below, and there'll be a link for Dark Avenger Inc. so you go check those out. And also I have another update, which I feel like I never mentioned on this channel, and that's that we have a live show on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock all the time, on 9 o'clock Eastern time on Dark Avenger Inc.'s, uh, Dark Avenger Inc., uh, Dark Avenger C86's channel, my friend Chris's channel, who also has wonderful videos. And uh, we do a live show every Tuesday. We have fun. We talk about comics. We talk about movies, TV, everything. We answer you guys questions and um i just never mentioned it on my channel i feel like i, I obviously mentioned it on twitter and my feed and stuff but i've never mentioned it on um my of my videos so i uh, definitely want you guys to go check that out and um there's old episodes also uh the previous episode is actually on dark vendor inc because we couldn't do it on chris channel um last week so if you want to go check that out and um ask us questions tell me in the comments below if you've heard of the, of the live show what do you want with the live show you know what you would like to see with it and uh yeah just tell me in the comments below but let's talk about hawkeye issue 10. um let's talk about the cover here great cover probably the best cover of the week um the teardrop you obviously see this is the guy who killed uh gill in the last issue and um we have the little bullseye over here very interesting cover great coloring and that i always love that painting style of a cover and um it does that perfectly here um so great great cover but let's see if i like story um hawkeye is actually one of my favorite series going on right now so i was very excited to see this uh story and see how the the gill story continues but we don't quite see that in this issue we actually get to see that um we see who the killer is and a little bit about his life that he used to be part of uh um, a circus and he joined up with the boys you know the jacket people and uh, the bros I'm sorry and um, we get to see he's trying to get closer to Kate um, talking to her but um, Kate obviously doesn't know who this guy is um, and that's pretty much what happens he just learned a little bit about this guy not too much and then we get to the end where he kills Gil so we get to the end of what the end was with the last issue except we get some fill-ins with this and some fill-in of the character himself um i thought this issue was interesting um i did like it um i didn't love it though um i feel like it's a shame but this week i didn't really love any comic and that's why this is actually the best comic i read this week uh but it was a very good comic i just kind of expected a little bit more with it um i didn't really get attached to the character and i wanted to see a little bit after gill's death and we didn't really get to see that in this issue but i liked how they fill in the blanks and i'm sure we're gonna learn more about this character as issues go on and i think it was fun to see maybe kate connect with this guy even not knowing this guy kate saying um talking about her boss you know clint a little and getting a little annoyed how depressed he is i think that was interesting Thing. Um, and seeing a little bit of Clint, um, a little like an extra, I would say, deleted scene after that first issue. Uh, I mean, that last issue we read with the, um, his all his girlfriends. Uh, not girlfriends, but friends that are girls and his ex-wife, you know, all the girls in his life. So we saw kind of like a deleted scene not knowing what he wants to do and he's a little depressed. And obviously, that's what Kate's commentary is, that he's always depressed. So I think that was always, that's a fun thing. Um, so again, I felt like this is more of a deleted scene type of, type of issue where we get to see some things that we didn't see with the last issue but you don't need to read. Uh, but I think it was still interesting. I, again, I think the only problem I really had with it was the villain himself. I kind of wish we learned a little bit more to get attached to him and we really didn't. Um, the art was pretty good. I don't think it was as good as Aja. I really like this guy's art, but I don't know if it fits the coloring a lot. I know a lot of people like his art. Um, Franco Cavilla. Fran Franco Cavilla. Um, a lot of people like his art. Um, I just don't know if it fits perfectly well with this. I think it's great cover art, but um, I don't know if it fits perfectly well with the, the coloring of this. I think Aja does a better job, but still great art, still great art. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this four stars. It's actually my pick of the week, even though it wasn't the best comic, um in the world in the best Hawkeye comic. It was still a pretty good comic. I enjoyed it. I just expected a little bit more from it. And uh, everything else was kind of below that standard. I still really enjoyed this story, you know, and it still had that Hawkeye magic, that magic, I mentioned magic again. Yeah, watched the live show and to see um, what we talked about magic. But um, yeah, but we still have that Hawkeye magic that we've been having um, with this series uh, since issue one. So uh, again, not the best Hawkeye issue, but that's a pretty uh, big standard for Hawkeye. Every issue is like five stars, four and a half stars. So even though this wasn't the best Hawkeye issue, doesn't mean this is not a good issue. So it's actually my pick of the week, four stars. 
Um, I'm just actually kind of disappointed with the other comics that came out this week. Um, either they were just kind of okay, but um, this was the best one, and it was a four-star comic. Uh, but yeah, pick it up. Definitely pick it up. It was a good issue, and especially if you really like the last issue, I think you'll like this one, because again, it's a deleted scene type of issue. You get to see a little of Clint and Kate, and you get to see about this villain, and even Gil's death again, if you want to see that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno in the right situations, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.